Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this clip art, and you can tell it's a clip art, and wanted to get rid of the beach chair and the umbrella and just have the trees. Well, you can't do it till you trace it and go to bitmap, and you could actually resample it, but in this case, I don't really think it matters. I didn't on the first one. And then go still on bitmap, and you can go outline trace and clip art. I actually have mine right here, so I can just go outline trace. And I, 99% of the time, use clip art, and it's done. And then we'll move this over here. So this is our trace version, and you can always tell the difference with a yellow box trick and put it to the background. Then you got a white box. If we do it to the new trace, it's gonna have some white, but it's only gonna be between the trees. So that's how you can tell it's a clip arc. And also when you just move it, you can see that grayed out box. And if we move this one, we don't see that gray out box. But I, I put a yellow box on everything I trace because the white could hurt you. As a matter of fact, this is funny. It didn't trace as good as when I left it. it uh, let me just go back. When I before I, I think I mentioned I resampled it. Um, it doesn't need to be resampled. So let's go to bitmap. Well, I even got to go backwards even more. So go to bitmap. So we're back to 72 and I'm not gonna resample it. So resampling doesn't always help you. And we'll see why here in just a second. If you remember that other thing had a lot of gray in it around the edges where this is a lot cleaner, but I'm still gonna use my yellow box trick and go up to object and order back a page. And then I'm gonna ungroup it. So I'm gonna try not to grab the yellow box and get my pick tool and just grab the tree go up to object, group, and ungroup, and I'm gonna hit that white, I'm gonna hit delete. And now you see that we only have, well, we actually have a gray there, but a couple things, you could make that black. You could turn those into black or delete them. I'm just hitting the delete key. If it's in a, a good spot, you can you know, delete them or add them. But then what we can do is left click, right click, we don't have to worry about removing the white from those objects. We do want to get rid of a couple of these objects down lower. We don't want to yet take away from this, but then just get your three point curve line and just make sure you go above the tree line in some sort of fashion like that. Don't worry about some of the lines, but we need to delete some of the lines. We want our smart field tool to fill in that gap and we're gonna make this even on, we could actually take out that one. So now we're gonna take the smart fill tool. I'm gonna to set it on black this time and I'm gonna fill this in. And voila, the chair is gone. Now there's a few nodes I would delete and it all depends on look. I would delete these nodes, maybe delete that node and give you more of a curve. You could play around with the tree uh, but it, you know, trees are made by mother nature and they're supposed to be. Now, if you were going to cut this out, you know, I'd maybe have those apart. And then somebody asked a question the other day. It was kind of ironic that it was going to be a, I think it was a palm tree. And she never got back to me if you wanted to cut this tree out. So let's make it a little bit bigger now. If you wanted to cut it out and engrave it on wood, you could do a couple of things. One, we can go up to object and convert it to a curve, and that's gonna open up our weld docker, and we're gonna put a boundary around that. And there's our boundary, unless you're gonna cut out the inside, and we'll do another one to do that one. But then, if you want that cut out in this printed or engraved, whoop, we're gonna have to use a smart fill tool. So if you wanted this engraved and then cut out, but it's gonna cut it right on the edge of the leaves. 
So there's a couple of things we can do. We can grab that, go up to effects, contour, and we can contour to the outside. Let's just contour to 0 0.02 and see what happens. I've got three steps. I was doing something earlier. Just one step. That might not be enough. But that way you're going to have a wood, little bit of wood showing. And if we fill this back in, it also, I should have, well, it doesn't matter. Um, go ahead and break the contour apart. And then gr if you grab the center one, you can move the center one out of the way and your, your new copy is over here. So now if we look and we turn that one red, if you cut that out, you're going to have a little bit of wood on the outside. And that's, to me, a, a really better. Now, if you wanted to cut out on the inside, let's just get rid of this tree. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill this in. Nudge it out of the way. Left click, right click. And contour to the inside that same amount. Go up to object and break the contour apart. And like I did before, grab the inside one. And this time we want to use the inside one. I must not have, there it is. So now because we've nudged, we can nudge it right back. And now you're going to cut out the center and it's just going to be a little bit off. So let's take the smart field. Let's use a different color. Let's use a green just so it looks like a tree. So now you've got a contour cut line to the inside and to the outside. So that's going to cut out. The only thing you need to be aware of that if you left click and right click to make this line, if this is a hairline, which is not, you need to make sure these are hairlines so they will cut. So we're going to go hairline and in red, just so you'll know it's a cut line. And you'll have to do the same thing for the the other cut line. So you can grab, you know, sometimes you have to go off the screen and grab that one. Go back to hairline, red. Red doesn't really, you know, the most laser, or at least my laser, doesn't matter what color it is. It's only if it's a hairline. But if you use a hairline in red, then you know that it's normally a cut line. So what I was saying is you want to make sure that this, one thing you can do is smart fill it and move it over, even over more, and then right click no line to make sure there's no line. So there's no line there, it's just a color. Of course, you'd want it black for engraving. So there you have a inside and an outside cut line and an engraved tree. And the original part, the only part they were really asking was, so I basically killed two birds with one stone. They wanted to get rid of that beach chair. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.